Hello, it's Sarah. And this is it, guys. I think I'm going to be finished after today. We shall see. Just watch the Eagles. I have my Eagles locket on. Well, this is the new, um, I don't know what they're calling it, the green bracelet. I have my football dangle. The number 11 is in there, and it says fly, Eagles, fly in the back. Um, anywho, yes, we just want like 52 to 20 or something. Anywho, uh, so yeah, I wanted to come in here. I just can't keep away from my little project. This has been so fun. I know some of the um, previous videos, the process, it's a bit, it's a little long in real time because I'm figuring it out as I go. But for today, I'm gluing, so there's really nothing to figure out. Um, and I just wanted to share my process for this. I use, um, this is called Weld Bond glue. And it's the type of glue that was recommended to me when I, uh, whoops, Kiwi's with me. She took a bath. Let me show you. Come here, Kay. Don't poop on it. She'll probably poo. But look at her. She's all wet. Can you tell? She just took a bath. Anyway, um, but she shook on me and now I'm all wet. Um, weld bond. And I haven't found it's by Eco Lodge. Said, well, certified Eco logo. I don't know what that means, but this was recommended by a polymer, I'm sorry, a actually a glass mosaic artist. So um trying to get some out. I have other, but you can get this at Dick Blick for sure. I've looked at Home Depot and uh, Lowe's and stuff, but they don't have this specific white glue form of it. It's in like, um, what is that stuff called? Like silicone or something. Anywho, um, Weld Bond, I mean, um, Dick Blick has it. Go online. I love, Amazon has it. So, the first thing I want to do is the corners, and I'm going to work my way to the center. So, um, I might as well just, and I, there's a couple different ways. Now, here, again, it's just personal preference, but it could go this way with the flowers to the inside. I like that, actually. I think I'm going to put my... Uh, the pink on the outside. So I just want them all to be the same. And I don't know if you noticed, one of my gems fell out of this. <coughs> I think it was during baking or, and I didn't notice it, but then I noticed it and um, I glued that in. What else? Uh, everything else is baked and done. I ended up rubbing a little bit of some Inca Gold, this pink. I don't know, it's called Rose Quartz Inca Gold on there too. But I like how this turned out with the little, um, what was that called? Applique flowers. So I'm happy with it. And I think the very last step is going to be to make some gold leafing on black polymer clay. So I'll do a different video for that. But I just wanted to share. So basically, I like to take the glue and put it on the surface of the, the substrate, I should say, you know, and also on the tile. I'm filming, babe. Yeah, Good. Okay. And then I like to wiggle it into place. So let me come in a little bit closer. But I like to kind of give pressure and wiggle it. and. I'm going to keep it so that it's just at the edge, not over the edge. So there's a little bit of gold showing. So that's where I'm going to go for, right there. And on the clay and on the substrate. And then remove stuff. Kind of just give it a wiggle, like a little wiggle to get it in place and to grip on. But this is solid. Once it dries overnight, it'll, it'll, it's not going anywhere. So I'm going to turn this around and do these two. And then we'll work our way towards the middle. 
but I like to center everything up and get it all lined up and then you can always fill with either uh, I like to use micro beads to fill in gaps or bling chain similar to this um, and after after everything's all the main tiles have been glued on so you don't really need to see me do each and every piece but I'm just gonna I'll do a couple more because I know this has been a very long for you guys but for me I've had so much fun with this project this is I think I said it in one of the other videos I haven't been called back to the craft room like I have with this piece for a while so I've really enjoyed it and um, I'm looking forward to seeing it finished so then I think I want to see see I don't need to put the crown yet um, I want to line these up next right and that way we'll get our spacing determined so I won't mm, let me think I think I am gonna glue this one even with them and there's gonna be a little background showing but I don't mind so but it'll be and then I'll start to you know so let's go ahead and put the butterflies on and let me see how much see there's quite a bit of distance between these but I think I'll fill that with a piece of chain or something it'll look good so either a small version of this or a, some more ball chain or something I could probably even use a piece of clay if I cut it super thin you know so we'll see but for right now I'm going to I'll put the crown too but I want to get these on first they're pretty big That's Kirby. She's got her squeaky toy. And, you know, when we're watching the game, she just kind of sleeps. So now the game's over and we're both up doing things. She wakes up too. You know what I think is, this is a little bowed. It's, you can't tell, but similar to how the, this, the jewelry piece is bowed, it's a subtle, but see, look, it's not really adhering. So I'm going to put the glue a little thicker in the middle see how it's not really sticking so that felt better that feels like something is grabbing let me see if this one see that's grabbing this one's different so you can check and see but once the glue hardens and dries it will be adhered so let me make sure if this is straight and I really just eyeball a lot. I basically that's all you can really do. I mean, I don't know how else you would make sure it's straight, but um, you know, I use I use the sides of the piece and just kind of go with the the line that way. And I like to apply the glue with a brush. It just keeps it off me it is sticky I will make a mess so let's get this one down and there's a decent amount of space but it's not too much it's just a grout line like when you're tiling the floor in your home or if you've ever done a tile project um, they usually give you these little spacers that you can just put in between so that your grout lines are equally spaced so again, it's it's eyeballing it for me. I just want to make sure everything's kind of equally spaced so that this line stays straight. So I put a lot of glue on there and it's kind of squeezing out and it's a little more mushy. Um, should we go with, here's my crown. I'm going to make sure I put her in first, I think, and this one's coming a little lower, so I'm just going to push up higher. And 
and make sure that line is straight. I just really, it's important to me. The clay is, I mean, to the best of my ability, I love using that straight blade to get a straight line, but it won't always, it's handmade, so it won't always be straight, you know? Like these two tiles here, I'm gonna end up cutting two little tiles that are gonna fit there, but you wanna have equal, well I do. And then this one, again, equal space between that and that, and then these and these, so, you know, and then I'm gonna move into the center because this is the main, Kirby, come down here. Come here. And then this, you want this to be straight because this is, a, so let's go with the bottom first. Let me glue this on. So I'm going to need glue kind of. Kirby, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing upstairs? I hear you sniffing. Oops, I didn't do that part. So I got glue where I'm not going to need any, but whatever. Now I just want this to be, again, equally spaced. I repeat myself a lot. You guys get the idea. <laughs> So I can even use the I can even use the lines on my works mat. And this is just like a sewing, a quilting mat type thing. A cutting, what is it? A self-healing mat, right? But see, this is even as far as my eye can see. And then I'll evenly space this. I need more glue. And yes, I will be doing the October art journal page this week. I am planning a pumpkin mixed media piece uh, with fall leaves and fall colors. So, and look, I put stickles on the wings of my, this is a button. And I'm so happy I changed the color because it just looks better composition wise. I like to space out different colors and even the buttons so I have button 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 you know I like to space them out um, oh dear she's weird so if you wiggle it it just starts to adhere so let's take a look at this make sure it's straight I'm gonna look up into the camera for a sec that looks like a good distance and then, because I want to look at, like, this distance is probably a little close. This one is not moving. It's not budging. I love it, though. I'm so happy. This is really cute. Like, this one, I don't know. I think when I've looked at Lori's pieces, they're very much... Um, They've had a like a, a dress shape. So I have another one. I have another um, one of these cradle boards, and it's a bit bigger. So I think I'll have more room to work. And but I just love this centerpiece tile, and I don't know. I think everything's come like I could actually move that up and put. So see, now's where I'm going to have to figure stuff out. If I want things to move, I'm gluing. i got to make those decisions, you know. This is going to definitely need a little something to fill. I don't like that big of a gap between tiles there. Um, so I'm going to glue her. And then I'll decide if I, I think I do want, I think I want these up. But then I'll only have gold leaf, gold leaf, gold leaf. And then if I go like this, there'll be gold leaf. That'll be more evenly spaced. So I think I am going to go like that. It's just going to look better, I think. See, gold leaf, gold leaf, gold leaf. See? So there's a couple, you know, you can always... It's personal, personal preference. Personal preference. I'm going to move my crown. 
I have physical therapy tomorrow um, at around 1, so I don't think I'm going to be going live. Um, I don't know about the live. I love talking to you guys. I think it's so cool, but I don't get a lot done, and I feel like that's not what people expect from my channel. They expect to see tutorials, and I don't know, but... They don't have to watch those, right? And I know that's what you're saying. I know you're saying that. All right, so that looks pretty good. Centered and straight, as far as I can see. I'm gonna do this one. I think I did pretty good with my spacing. Let me turn it again. So these are all glued. See, she's moving a little. It's not really gripping yet. We'll do, let's do the crown. Forgot about the crown. Sorry. So yeah, this is kind of boring. Um, so I'll be back. Then the last thing I need to do is I'm going to show you guys how I, I'm going to gold leaf. Um on black clay because when you're making a composition you need um, contrast and there's really not a lot of contrast on this at all and I don't even know that the black is really going to show through um, but I wanted to use black just in case this is really thin and I actually got a question this morning about am I having trouble with my with these breaking. And this is only the second one I've ever done that has these. The other one, you know what I mean? They just hang on this on the wall. So, um I haven't had that happen and I'm just going to be careful because yeah, I mean this is really thin. I didn't actually make that one too thick. Um the bottom one, yeah, they're both not very thick. So I guess they would they could break if I were to like just be rough with this or something, but I'm not planning on being rough. So I'm gonna I just want to get that out of there in case. So it's starting to hold now. I'm not gonna be able to move anything in a few minutes, you know, in a little bit. Everything's gonna be pretty well stuck. She's really moving a lot. Um, but I think I'm pretty straight. I'm going to turn it around and have a look. We're getting there. Um, that looks good. Kiwi. So let's put this one in. I'm just going to do it. Um, you know, this is the one piece that's kind of not the same size as this, and it's not the same size as this, but it ends up being kind of when I put these on it, it's good enough. And I really actually just used the shape of, I have, no, I cut some off. There's these little swirls over here that I could have left, but it's a stamp by Inka Dinka Do. But it's going to go here. I don't know what she sees, guys. Sorry. She's weird. Kirby, stop it! My husband's out there. He's doing um, our Christmas lights. Tis the season. He is... Oh, he's making everything... Um, coordinated with the music so he's got some preliminary stuff he's doing and I think by Thanksgiving he's going to have a lot of this stuff out on the um, lawn but yeah I think he's out there we fell back last night so it's actually oh I don't have my watch on 
I wonder if it's four forty nine or if it's three forty nine. I think it's four forty nine. Um, my phone isn't here either because we lost an hour or we gained an hour actually, right? These seem crooked to me. I'm gonna look up in the camera. She's crooked. got to be good enough. All right, now we're getting into the nitty-gritty now. So I'm going to cuz see I don't like I might have to cut this. I'm 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 brave, don't worry. Or I could move it up a little and still fit. Although I would prefer hmm, I could move the wings up. I like the wings up. And then just put Let's see. I think it'll look fine. And just have something in there. I kind of like the wings up equal with that and then this. Either way, I'll glue these last because I have to figure it out. Because I think they're a little tall. A teensy bit tall. I think I'm going to move them down. I'm going to try cutting a teensy bit. Watch. So these are my tonic scissors. And I'm just going to gently cut the clay. It's cuttable, see? gently but it is also breakable and crackable so you have to be gentle but I think that makes me happier I don't want it sticking up into that area as much Kiwi what are you doing she's like under my hair Right by my ear, cozy and under there. Because she's wet. If this breaks, I will be so sad. And I put stickles on the wings too. They were already um, pearl, pearlescent white clay, but I just love stickles, so I had to do it. Um, I think I could still trim them, but let me go ahead and, oops, get them out of the glue. I'm going to go ahead, this one's glued, this is all glued, so I'm going to go ahead and put this big Faith Hope um, key, Faith Hope Believe tile. I did this with the gold clay. And just get this evenly on the side. So this isn't it doesn't go all the way to the side. But as long as it's even, I want to give it some pressure and make sure it's even and straight. I like it. So that's glued. And then the last thing is I'm going to center this. I should probably do the wings first, though. Let me just get this off of here. Let me see how that looks. These are all glued. Oh, I love it so much. 
it's going to look so good with that gold leafing too. Let me just look at it from the front like that. Um, I kind of want to just go for it and put this right in the center. I'm really happy with this piece. If you watched the previous videos, I, you know, there was a lot to consider and I just think that this stamp says it all with the theme. And so that's what the background of this tile is, is all these words that have to do with um, breast cancer survival. And I just, really wanted that to be center stage and then I put that hope button right in the middle too. So I'm centering on this tile and equal distance from I think that looks good. Now we just have to make sure this all fits. snug. This section is a little snug, but I'm going to trim this and I'm, I'm really scared, but I really want to because I just think it can get, I can get away with it a little smaller. So that's the thing. If you used kind of a small, um, on your pasta machine when you roll your clay out you can always cut the clay which is a great thing to be able to do um, in a case like this you know so I just need a tiny bit off the top and I'm being gentle and let's see tiny bit off the bottom Pretty good. So, I'm going to like this better. I'm going to pull this down a little bit. These are pretty stuck now, so that's the thing. You can't really move. This is really, that didn't budge when I just bumped into that. So, I'm going, and this is stuck. So I'm going to make sure I like where that is. If my head gets in there, it's because I just really want to make sure I like that. Okay, so these actually, I wouldn't mind if they were butt right up against that. That might be okay, and then get the spacing over here. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to go with that can be right butt up against it. And I'm going to cut a smidge off this also has a teensy bit of clay that I can cut here. Kiwi, that's my earring. Just because it was a tad over, and this is a tad, even a smaller tad over, so I'm just gonna, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna glue all this. Then it will be time for gold leafing. And I think I am going to emboss the sides, which I definitely probably should have done. Probably, definitely don't go together, but I should have done it before we glued, but I think I'll manage. It will be fine. So I'm gonna put this right here. I'll wiggle that into place in a sec. Okay. 
and I'll leave the spacing. Um, so you can still move it if you have to. I might have just made that. Oh, Kiwi, I have to look up. <clears throat> the cl I mean, the glue will all dry clear and you won't see it. So it's just me being picky with when if I ever take it off the um, surface. But it, it'll all dry clear and... It might be a little lumpy though, but so I'm a little picky about it. All right, so I can glue my wings. this nitpickiness it does add to the quality of your piece you know I mean ultimately if you are careful about glue sticking out and things it's going to look cleaner when it's done right I mean it obviously will kind of play into the the creation of the piece you know it might look a little more clean so actually, I'm just going to keep this really snug up against the center because I like the spacing here and there. I definitely, I wouldn't get any spacing if I didn't, um, but how does that look? I think it looks phenomenal. I'm really, really happy with it. And I could do, oh, you know what? Yikes, I forgot something. I'll be right back. I baked something else last night. Hold on. So now you really want to really have a good look and make sure everything is where you want it because this is it. This is your last chance to move anything because the glue will really start to set up and it will be a much bigger ordeal. Not that I haven't done it gotten things off there or whatever but I did bake these little um, hope charms last night and I thought I was going to put them here to kind of play with these the same color clay with no embossing on it I, I keep saying embossing and I mean I just mean texture so I was going to put these right here and I think I am um, because the silver, right? Again, I think I, I just think I am. And I mean, I could actually, no, because this is metal. I don't know. I was thinking I could pull them out to the edge and put the gold leafing here. So I'm going to have to figure that out. But I think I like them in the, in the mix as well. Uh, but I definitely am done after that. Like it's either this, this, or nothing, and then just gold leafing is the only thing that I'm going to do next. So let me see it like that. I really kind of like that, and then put the gold leafing. I think they're going to go right there. So let me check the size. I'm going to cut, I think, a smidge. Wrong scissors, these scissors. Just a smidge off the bottom of this one. I just think it was a little bit off size wise. It's a little crooked now. So I am pretty particular, aren't I? I mean, I'm kind of listening to myself thinking, yeah, you're pretty particular about when things are straight or crooked or not. Um, this one could get just a smidge as well. And I'm taking it off the top because the top looked a little like it had a little extra room. Anywho, I'm just telling you how I do it. You go ahead and do it and then I really hacked that when I made it a little crooked. But those are getting glued on here too. Right there. 
need a little more glue I think and then I'm gonna let you go and I'll come back with my desk ready to do some gold leafing on black clay and I'll probably do some embossing on the sides of the of this box as well oh jeebers jeebers but I hope you guys have somewhere to start now because I've not ever taken a class with Lori or have a clue of how she makes hers but this was just kind of my take on her beautiful art dolls that she does in polymer clay and I think it's something I want to do again so like I said I have that other substrate maybe I will do a totally different theme I like the idea of picking a theme though because it's just easier that way because you have inspiration and you know what colors you want to use or you know all that type of stuff so having a theme is really good and you can gather up your your stash pieces based on oh wow I am in love with this piece it's so bright so I'm gonna go ahead and clear my desk off and I'll be back Thank you guys so much for watching and being a part of the process with me, Take, coming along for the ride. Thanks for watching.